In today's video I'm taking a look at this unusual electroacoustic ukulele made out of a biscuit tin. It was made about 10 years ago here in the UK by Kevin Robinson, who uses the brand name Tinkuleles, making sweet music. The most striking feature of the instrument is obviously the biscuit tin body, and every instrument made by Kevin is unique and made out of a different type of tin. His website doesn't seem to be online anymore, but thanks to the Wayback Machine I've been able to look up this page with some pictures of his instruments. They're made from upcycled materials, not just the tins, but also the necks are made from reclaimed wood. The neck has an unusual profile, being much thinner than usual near the headstock and getting both wider and thicker towards the higher frets. It's actually quite comfortable to play on, and the tin isn't nearly as awkward to hold as it might look either, although I do remember having to try out quite a few until I found the one that suited me. That's not a bad thing though, as clearly different sizes and shapes of tins will suit different players. The neck only has 10 frets, which seems to be a standard for instruments in the Tinky Ladies range. My guess is that this is because the same neck is attached to radically different sizes of bodies, and so would have to be cut to different lengths depending on the tin. The headstock is quite small and has a squared off shape. I really like the look, but it can be a little fiddly to turn the pegs as they're quite closely packed together, especially if you've got a tuner clipped onto the end as well. The bridge is fixed in place to the lid of the tin, and the strings run all the way to the tailpiece, where the pegs are attaching and made of ordinary wood screws. A conventional ukulele setup with the strings attached directly to the bridge wouldn't work here, as the tin wouldn't be able to take the string tension. In fact, if we look inside the instrument, we can see that the wooden neck piece extends all the way through to the tail, and so takes all of the string tension. The tin itself is really just a resonator rather than a main structural component. The bridge is attached to this piece of board underneath the lid, and the piezo pickup is attached to the board, so the plugged in sound actually has very little to do with the tin. This sort of pickup is usually attached directly to the body of the instrument, and so would pick up a lot of handling noise. This design doesn't eliminate that completely, but it certainly helps to reduce it, and EQing out frequencies below about 200Hz helps even more. This doesn't really affect the sound of the instrument, as of course the lowest note is a middle C with a fundamental of about 260Hz. And with such a simple piezo pickup system, you'll obviously want to use some degree of EQ to get the best sound from it anyway. So now for some sound samples. As usual, I'm going to play a folk song. This time I've chosen Blow Away the Morning Dew, and I'm going to play it twice to demonstrate some of the different sounds. This first version has both the melody and chords played electrically, with just some EQ and compression but no additional effects. The electric sound isn't the only option, of course. It has an interesting acoustic sound as well. Now, obviously it's not going to sound like a fancy high-end instrument. It is, after all, a novelty made out of a biscuit tin. But I think it has a nice sound in its own way. So for the second sample, I'm going to play the same tune, but with acoustic chords, and the melody played electrically through an effects pedal. Unfortunately, it looks like Kevin Robinson is no longer making his tinkulelis, so I can't point you towards where you can buy one, but I hope this was an interesting video nonetheless. Please do give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and thanks for watching.